going to turn this over and I'm going to put just a few drops of oil down where the spindle goes into. For lubricant, I also use Slick 50 instead of 3-in-1. And the ball bearing goes down inside of this hole right here. Here comes my spindle. First I'll need... I'm going to get this gear ready just by putting the screw in. This is the keeper screw that holds the... holds it to the spindle. I'm not going to put it in there too far, but it'll be in place where I can tighten it down. And on the spindle, you'll notice that there is a small indention, which is right here. And the screw, this keeper screw right here, is going to want to line up with that hole. So what I do, once I get it into place, and it actually goes on this way, is I will put it close to where it needs to be, but I know that it's not in that hole, and I'll go ahead and tighten the screw just to where it's touching. Okay. And now it's touching the side of the shaft. And what I will do, it's a little bit too far, is try and find that hole. And I know that when I find the hole, the screw is going to turn more than one half a turn. It's going to go, and that, that was in the hole right there. So I'll back that up just where it needs to be. And I'm ready to slide this into place. The part with the screw goes towards the top of the motor. So it's going to go on just like that. The screw always sits on top where you access it. So let's see if this goes. Should be it right there. There it goes. Make sure that's in there nice and tight. And the spindle is in place. Okay. go ahead and put the friction pad for the speed regulator in before we put our governor in because this will not go in with the governor in place and as you can see there's a little hole right here that it goes in and this little ledge is where this lip of the spring goes in and usually we just slide it in there give it a push, it more than likely will go underneath there. There we go. And it is now spring-loaded. With that in place, we can go ahead and put this in. This is the attachment that goes to the arm out here. And I've got the screws in place on this. So Again, there's a little hole right here that I need to line that keeper screw up with. So I'm going to do that the same way as I've done all the rest of them. And if I'm lucky, there it is. set this arm into place.
and we're ready for our governor. And we'll slide this back for just a second. There's the keepers for the governor. And then go ahead and put the ball bearings into place. Drop that down in there. And to hold it in there while I work, I'm just going to put just a little dab of grease. And this will hold that ball bearing in there so that it doesn't fall out. the other one. Here we go. We're ready to put that in. Like I said earlier, the side with the little notch in it goes on the side where the gears are. Let's see. That one didn't want to come out that way. I'll have to go on the other side here. Usually goes in both ways. But... And let's get the screw started. Start this other one. And I'm going to want to find that groove, so let's tighten this down just to where it touches the metal. And we'll slide this back and forth until we find there it is. Tighten that side down. Here is the other pin. It's a smooth shaft, and this is the side that you actually adjust the tension of the governor on. When I slip the governor in place, I will want to put it behind the friction pad here, so I'm going to lift up on the I'm going to lift up on the speed regulator arm and hold it back while I set this in here. And there we go. And I'll go ahead and temporarily tighten the screw down. And lifting back on this arm, and that's just a little bit too tight. I'm going to loosen this up and adjust this out a little bit. You want just, just a small amount of play in your governor. If you have too much play, you'll have chatter. Still a little bit too tight. It's too loose. feels about right. I'll go ahead and tighten that down and if it's too loose I'll tighten it back up later. Make sure these are in there good. And let's see how it spins. I'll have to lift this up. 
real good. Okay. With all that in place, I can go ahead and put my spring barrel in. I will insert the screw for the shaft right here. Set that aside. We'll put our drive gear and winding gear in place. The winding gear goes on the side with the clip and the lid, so sometimes you have to move the springs back and forth a little bit in here. See how that one's not quite lined up? Here's the lip of the screw. It needs to correspond with the lip on the winding gear, so that slides right in. We'll turn it over and do the other side. Move the spring back. To And here's the lip right here at the top. Move that down where you can see it. Right there. So I'll line up the groove on the drive gear. And hopefully that will sit right down in there. Sometimes that's a hit and miss thing. You gotta keep trying, depending on the type of spring that you have in there. Sometimes it doesn't want to center itself quite right. So we'll put the winding catch in, and remember I said that the lip, the hook part of the winding catch goes on the side where these gears are, and it simply slides into place right there, and we're ready to insert the spring barrel. The spring barrel just sits right in here. And of course the shaft needs to go through. The shaft has this indention right here that corresponds with this screw. So again, I'll want to line that up. Let's see where I'm at here. And I'll go ahead and tighten this down to make sure I hit that. That's tight. Back it off just a quarter of an inch. Put it in there and hopefully that's it. Okay. One thing left to do and that is to put the speed indicator in place. I'll go ahead and drop the screws through the hole. This one back here is a little bit harder to get to so I'm going to use some Hemostats, you can use needle nose pliers to do the same. And there are my screws in place. Before I wind it its first time, I'm going to go around all the gears with some oil. This is a 3-in-1 oil that is an empty can that I put Slick 50 in. I, I really like using Slick 50 on all this. And even though I've oiled some of this already, I'm going to do it again. You want oil all the way around the friction pad of the governor around all the winding gears and I will test this motor to make sure that it's okay and then I'll go back through and I'll put some grease in place this is only just to test it to make sure that everything is alright put a little bit on the spindle 